Most importantly, don't forget to like and subscribe to show your In this video, I will show you how to implement a more realistic jump for your player. Before we actually start, I think we have to first fix the bug in the collision detection in the earlier video, very sorry for the mistake guys. Now it is quite good. Now, let's actually start, first we need to create two variables for the player. One is jump to check if the player is actually jumping and another is the jump count so we actually know which phase of jumping is the player actually at. This might sound complicated but just follow along. Direction should not be up anymore, but instead we are checking for the jump variable to know if the player is jumping. I think I will just paste in the whole logic for jumping as it is quite time consuming to build it again, but trust me this is useful for every game projects. I will try to explain one by one. For line 45, we have to subtract by gravity when jumping because the fall is actually being handled by the jump formula. The negative value will be positive when going up and negative when going down so we will know when to add and when to subtract the y position. This line full of calculation here actually simulates the shape of graph for quadratic equation. If you have studied mathematics at a higher level then you will probably know about it. In the else statement, we will reset the jump flag and reset the jump count when the jump is finished. Now let's check and see if it is working. It should be working for you too, and in the next video we will be talking about scrolling. So stay tuned and stay safe. 